Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Today I'm excited to show you a unique journal that I have been working on all year round. It's not my Sage collection, but it's actually a beautiful compilation of words of wisdom, reflections, and prayers that I crafted for my morning devotionals journey. Let me show you what I've done. At the beginning of the year, I came across this amazing stationery company and instantly fell in love with their products. Ashley is a creative genius and her passion for paper has birthed this beautiful company that provides elegant, luxurious stationery that meets, I would say, everyone's needs from the business person, the entrepreneur, the stay-at-home mom, the manager, the student, and pretty much anyone who wants to stay organized in their daily pursuits. The one thing I love about this planner is the array of papers they offer, from journal inserts to monthly or weekly or daily planners. They have desk pads, notepads, sticky notes, and stickers. They even have journaling cards and inspirational inserts I adore. But aside from the fancy planners and the book binding options, I found these half page inserts to be my inspiration for creating this scrapbook journal. Every morning before my family would wake, my morning routine would consist of me going to my office or craft room and spend time reading my Bible. Reading a passage and reflecting on what I read would jumpstart and set the tone for my thoughts for the day. If a quote or a verse jumped out at me, I would write it down on these half page inserts, which I would stamp and embellish in a way that would match the scrapbook journal I'm going to show you here. If you're interested on how I put this together, you'll want to watch this video here that goes into great detail on how I crafted this mini scrapbook journal. So what I did here was take this minimalist planner journal and added this vintage flair that I could not resist. My journal contained not just my morning devotionals, but the day-to-day -day operations of running the businesses and managing the household. As you can see here, the year is out and it's time to take all these inserts and collectively place them in the journal. I don't know about you, but I have no interest in keeping a log of meetings, doctor's appointments, and the daily grind in my journal. So I thought that this method was the next best thing. I used 49 and Market's paper collection here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I only used like three of their double-sided papers and one ephemera page. And really, I think all that I ever really need to create any of my mini albums is usually like three to five pages. I typically shy away from the full 12 by 12 paper packs because I like challenging myself to use up the small amount that I have. And if I need more, that's when I get really creative and rummage through old supplies and papers. I have these frames because this is where I will put the year's favorite photos in. And if you're wondering about the journal process I used here, this is what it looks like. Aside from just writing down verses, throughout the year I would journal what I call fractured moments, which are the difficult times of the day, followed by the gratitude entries, the things that brought me joy throughout the week or on that day. And then there would always be a prayer that followed. So my question of the day is, how do you catalog your thoughts and feelings? Are you a pen and paper type of person? Or do you internalize everything that you feel? Maybe you share it with someone that you trust. Go ahead and put your answer in the comment section below and share what personal growth methods you use to reflect. If you like this video so far, could you do me a favor and stamp that like button so we could share this crafting project with the rest of our journal community? I'd really appreciate it, thank you. If you like seeing new and interesting ways of cataloging your memories and leaving a legacy where love paves the way, then you'll like the Sage Collection, where I show you tips and tricks on how to create a scrapbook journal you'll enjoy journaling in throughout the year. So go ahead and watch the compilation of videos and we'll see each other there. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye!